Brenda, we're standing now in front of the Buffalo River painting, and this is this painting was depicted uh, the early morning kind of rising mist that occurs of the cold water against the warm air, and you get this kind of very spiritual kind of formation of the light hitting the water and the mist rising from it. The nice thing about being on the river in, let's say, late fall, early mm -hmm. November, let's say, you can walk the banks of this particular river and, um, and still have these lovely pools of reflection. And there's something about a reflected pool that mirrors, you know, light, the environment, the whole idea of where you are in time. You can see the bluffs of this uh, particular river, that's part of the big attraction because this was all underwater, carved, mm -hmm. water carved these uh, rock formations for millions of years. What else can you add to that? Yeah, so um, when I look at this, I think about, well, it make, first of all, it makes me feel peaceful and calm, which I, which I um, enjoy. But what I see in here is looking at how the river not only has cut the bluffs that are probably hundreds of millions of years old, mm -hmm. but how it also has shaped the landscape as the river courses through. We can see how rivers flow and that we can look at how you depicted basically what is the shoreline and what we would call a point bar deposit, mm -hmm. where we see all of these beautifully rounded water-worn rocks that have been um, underwater at points in time and have traveled perhaps great distances to this spot by being transported by the river and accumulated on this side of the bank. We can see here that this is the cut side of the bank, hence the bluffs and the rocks, the big heavy rocks here, and this is the slower deposit part of the river. And so this is the flow that slows down on this side and deposits sediments and rocks and cuts on this side. One of the things I like to think about when I go into a river is look at the largest size of boulders that have been transported down that river system. Mm -hmm. Because the largest size of boulders always indicates the heaviest flow that that river is capable of. Mm -hmm. So even though you depicted this at a very calm time in the morning and mm -hmm. in the seasons, mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't hesitate to guess that this river actually flows much heavier. It does. And it, even at flood this stage. This time of year, certainly. Yeah, this time of year, um, at certain times of year. And you can see that by the way that the rocks and the size of the rocks are accumulated. Mm -hmm. So, And you have all these minerals, etc., you know, that depict various colorations within the bluff and water, etc. So.